In this video, we'll be adding three new power-ups into our game. We'll be adding a speed power-up, a fire rate increasing power-up, and a health power-up into this game. So, let's begin. To get started, we're going to have to upload three power-up sprites. And these sprites will be found in the power-up file, and the link will be in the description for this file. So we can upload these three files. And now we have our sprites for the power-ups. We're going to need to resize all of them to 45 so that they're not too big on our screen. Now that they're created, we're going to need to create a script in our asteroid so that we can start creating power-ups and they'll fall if we destroy one of the asteroids. So there'll be a random chance that one of these power-ups show up if we destroy an asteroid. So to do that, we're going to be editing this script right here. So we're going to create a brand new variable and call this variable power-up chance. And we'll click OK. And then we'll set the power up chance and then we'll bring our operator and then we'll say one to nine and then we'll put this right under the create a clone so right after we create a clone we'll look if we spawn one of these power ups so the set power up chance will have it that if this random number picks three six or nine then one of these three power-ups will show up so let's start off with adding an if statement found in control so we're going to add one if statement right under the set power-up chance and then we'll bring an operator and bring the equal sign operator and say if the power-up chance equals to three then we want to spawn a power up right where the explosion happened so we can go ahead and reuse this explosion sprite by creating a clone of one of these sprites so we can go to events or we find this in control and create a clone so our first power up will be the health power up so we can just say health we'll create a clone of the health power up if the power up chance equals to three so we can duplicate this two more times and change this to six and change this to nine. And instead of creating a clone of health, we can create a clone for the fire rate increaser. And if it's nine, we can create a clone for the speed increaser. And you can put this right under the first if statement. Now we can go ahead and rename these so they look better. It's really important to name all your sprites into understandable names and we can call this speed boost power up and we can call this fire rate power up now we have all our power ups renamed and they're ready to spawn if an asteroid is destroyed and the random chance will be set so let's duplicate this and take it right here and delete the original script and we can just replace it now we need to add functionality for our asteroids power ups to start falling down so let's start with the four rate hmm, fire rate and we can go to when I receive start game and we can go to when the flag is clicked so we can say when flag is clicked we hide and actually in this case you don't need the when i receive start game block but what we do need is the when i start as clone and once we do start as a clone we'll show our power up and we'll go to the explosion position so we can go to in variables explosion x and explosion y and right after this will start falling down so we can go to control and select the repeat until loop and then go to sensing and click the or button and say if we either touch 
the player or if we touch the edge we should continue falling so we'll move negative 10 steps so we can move downwards and right after we touch one of these we can go ahead and wait a bit of time so that the touch can be registered by our player so we can wait 0 0.005 and then delete this clone so now if we go ahead and stop the game let's add this sprite to the speed boost upgrader and the health upgrader and then add it to the health power up and then the speed power up as well so now these two have been destroyed and if we okay so now we saw that it's moving in the wrong direction so we can have made a fault instead of moving it 10 steps we change this to change y by negative 10 so we can go ahead and remove this and replace this in the speed boost and the health power up so just remove the move 10 steps block and remove it here as well okay now if we start the game we should see that Ooh, okay we almost had a chance there okay so definitely we can see that they're falling too fast so we can even go ahead and reduce the speed so it's easier for our player to catch his power up so we can say negative six instead so it can be easier and we can also just test this by clicking this and see how fast or slow it falls so this can definitely be adjusted to whatever you see is the best speed now we have the power ups falling but they don't do anything to our player and that's what we're going to work on right now so if we go to our player sprite we want to create a brand new script completely for power ups so we can go to events and say when i receive start game forever look if we're touching any of these power ups so we can just bring three if statements so we say if we're touching a health power up or if we're touching the speed boost power up or it could be a fire rate power up so we bring this to the forever loop and the simplest one would be the health power up so we can go to variables and change our health by one but there would be a problem what if our player health is already full well we don't want it to go to four we want it to stay capped at three so before we do this we go to events or no control and say if our health we make sure that it's less than three. If our player health is less than three, then we can increase our player's health. Then right after that, we have if speed boost power, if touching the speed boost power up. Well, here's where we're going to need to create a brand new variable. We'll go ahead and create two variables. We'll call this first one speed boost multiplier. And we'll create another one and this would be for our fire rate so we'll call this fire rate multiplier and we'll want to set both of these multipliers to one by default so we'll set the fire rate and speed boost multiplier to one by default and we can put this at the top of our script now let's start changing the speed boost multiplier so we're going to set the speed boost multiplier to 1.5 right after we touched it and we're then going to have a little boost created in our player's costume so we can go to costumes and choose a brand new costume so we're going to upload some more costumes that is found in our asteroids pack the link is still in the description if for some reason you don't have this asteroid pack yet but here is the packs 
So let's import these files and we want to start from the smallest one. So move the smallest one to the top and we want it to steadily increase. So if we go one, two, three, okay. So one, two, three, four. So we go from three, four, one, and two. Yeah, I know it's weird, but it works, it works. So now let's implement this animation. So to start, we go to events and repeat three times. What we're going to repeat is changing the costume number by one. So we go to switch costume, go to operators and click the plus operator. We say plus one, go to control and we're going to wait. We want to wait 0 0.1 seconds. So we can wait 0 0.1 seconds and we will change our costume number by one. And right after we do this, we want to wait five seconds so that we can bring back our speed to normal. So we can duplicate this, but instead we'll use a minus operator. So we'll bring the minus operator minus one. And we can use the costume number and just bring it right back home. But we want to wait five seconds before we decrease the speed back to normal. So we'll wait five seconds and go ahead and duplicate this and set our boost multiplier to one. So this should work for our speed boost multiplier as long as we set our speed to what it is normally and times it by one. So we can go to sensing and bring the multiplication operator. So this asterisk right here represents multiplication. We go to variables and bring the speed boost multiplier. So let's say negative five And then we can say positive five. Now we have this set up. The last thing we need is our fire rate power up. So since we already have this established, we're just going to set our fire rate multiplier to 0 0.5. So we're going to decrease the amount of time it takes between each bullet and we'll just have this happen for five seconds so wait a cool five seconds and duplicate remove the weight and change it right back to one and bring our variable fire rate multiplier and we'll go to operators revisit our multiplication operator and we can add this right here and change it to 0 0.5 so the last thing we can do is go ahead and disable these variables you don't need to see them and full screen our game so we can stop this we want our default look to be switch costume to the spaceship enemy this is our default costume so now Let's see how these power ups work. We can see now that we shoot way faster with this power up, the fire rate multiplier. That's the health, but our health is already too high. So let's see if this works later. If we can get lucky and find one of these. Huh. Okay. Now we have the speed boost so we can move faster Ooh, just missed the health but there we go so we can one fix we could do is make our boost come a bit faster by just halving the time and there we go so that's it for this video we've added the upgrades and we have three upgrades that randomly spawn Ooh. If we touch or destroy one of these asteroids so thank you for watching i hope you subscribe so you don't miss the next episode where we'll be adding the enemies into the game we'll be adding two types of enemies 
we'll be adding a mothership that will spawn bombs and we'll also add another type of enemy that shoots spikes towards a player so make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next episode stay tuned for that and see you goodbye mm -hmm.